Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 203, God We Praise You. God, we praise you. God, we bless you. God, we name you, Sovereign Lord, Mighty King, whom angels worship. Father, by your church adored, all creation shows your glory, heaven and earth draw near your throne, singing holy, 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 Lord of hosts and God alone, Jesus Christ, the King of glory, everlasting Son of God. Humble was your virgin mother, art the lonely path you thrown. By your cross in sinful defeat, turned and face to face, heaven opened to believers, sinners justified by grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Well, let us pray. O oh God, Father of mercies, you Saint Saint Jerome Emiliani as helper and father of orphans, grant through his intercession and that of Saint Joseph in Bactia, uh, that we may preserve faithfully, preserve faithfully the spirit of adoption by which you have called us and truly are made us your children. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel, and stretching forth his hands toward heaven, he said, Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You keep your covenant of mercy with your servants who are faithful to you with their whole heart. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord, my God, and listen to the cry of supplication which I, your servant, utter before this day. 
May your eyes watch night and day over this temple, the place which you have decreed you shall be honored. Pray for this May you heed the prayer which I, your servant, offer in this space. Amen. Listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people Israel, which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely well, is your dwelling, dwelling place, place, Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. O God, behold our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. How How lovely lovely is your dwelling dwelling place, place, Lord Lord mighty mighty God. God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord and mighty God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees and favor me with your law. Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips to may worthily and fitly proclaim his holy gospel. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and the scribes question him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about your hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet, you say, if someone says to father or mother, Any support you might have had from me as Corbin, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do anything more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Yesterday we saw in the first reading how Solomon and the Israelites were dedicating the newly built uh, temple uh, in Jerusalem, a magnificent structure considered one of the wonders of the ancient world. Uh, and today we see Solomon standing before the altar, praising God and asking his blessing, and marveling at the fact that God, who created all the universe, the heavens and the earth and everything in it, uh, how he could even be present in a humble, simple temple that he had built. Um, reflecting upon that and thinking about us today, uh, we have a new telescope in space. Uh, we've had Hubble and the Herscher telescope for years. And every day, almost, they uh, excite a scientist with new discoveries of how vast the universe is, how many billions of galaxies there are, and each one has hundreds of millions of stars. And the Earth is just a speck of dust. And yet, in just a few minutes, you'll walk down the aisle. You and I will receive Jesus himself, the Son of God, with the Father and the Holy Spirit created this incredible universe. It kind of blows your mind when you really stop to think about it. And the problem is we really can't begin to realize the incredible greatness of the fact that God loves us so much that he wants to be intimately related with each one of us, and he wants us one day to share in his divine life for all eternity. So we need to think about it often, and no matter how much we think about it, reflect upon it, and pray about it, we'll never fully begin to be able to comprehend and uh, realize just how wonderful it is to be so loved by God, to realize and to think that in just a few moments, God who created this incredible universe, God the Son, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God the Son becomes present among us in the form of bread and wine, and he wants to share our life with us completely so that we can share his divine life for all eternity within heaven. The more we think about it, the more we reflect upon it, the more we pray about it, the only thing we can do is uh, be grateful and thankful to God for his great love. And we do that every time we come here to celebrate the Eucharist. The Eucharistic prayer is one continuous prayer of thanksgiving to God for all he's done for us. So with that in mind, let us pray. <clears throat> o oh God, our Heavenly Father, we truly are privileged to come here every day in this beautiful church to receive the body and blood of your Son, Jesus himself, the Son of God who lived among us, Help us to be transformed by his presence and to reflect his love in one way or another to others that we meet this day. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, Bishop Conley and Bishop Hannafel, and for all leaders in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Supreme Court justices, that they will rule in favor of protecting the lives of the unborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That school programs throughout the state of Nebraska and across the nation will stress the practice of the virtue of chastity as a better choice than choosing to have an abortion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our parents, grandparents, and teachers in our Catholic and public schools, that they will do the best to lead and guide our children to a knowledge and love of Jesus by their words and good example. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, especially Charles Tolman, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may come to know the joys of eternal life with our risen Lord and Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the doctors and nurses who are working long hours in the hospitals, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the living and deceased of the McAlexander and Lutz families for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have the spread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> and blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord our God, who once established these uh, created things to sustain us in our fidelity, grant, we pray, that we may be, they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through the Paschal Mystery he established this marvelous deed, by which he has freed us from the oak of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of now being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Zana, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created right, it gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death that will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joan and Marinci and uh, Josephine Bakita, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people who have, whom you have gained for your, your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to our passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us 
sure peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. from you. Amen. Communion M is number 326. I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. You who come to me shall not hunger. And who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons. And I will raise you up. And I will raise you up. And I will raise you up. On the last Let us pray. O God, you who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 563. Lift up your hearts to the Lord, praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joys to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Praise the name above all names. Say to God, how wondrous your works. How glorious your name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. The earth and he works in with praise. Praise the glory of your name. Come and see the deeds of the Lord. Bless God's holy name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.